First Corinthians, I mean, First Chronicles, chapter eight. Now Benjamin. Now we've already discovered Benjamin before, and we see his name again. And he was mentioned in chapter seven, verses six to twelve. Now I would think, and this is my possibility, which I don't know if it's so, but when we see chapter seven, verses uh, twelve and fifteen. We see that Manasseh has gone into Benjamin. When Manasseh, verse 15, says, Micah took the wife, the sister of Huffin, and Suffin. And we go back to verse 12 in Benjamin, and Suffin also in Huffin, the children of Har. That could be a possibility. Or chapter 7 seemed to be also another thing of all these mighty men, these soldiers of Israel. And Benjamin would fit right into that. Warrior. When I mean warriors, they, they weren't wimps. I mean, they didn't want to mess with them. You had Benjamin at the end of the book of jo Judges go against nine tribes. And Benjamin won. Until God got after him. Three battles and two battles Benjamin went and conquered. In the third battle, God turned it over against him. In chapter 8, verse 1, Now Benjamin begat Bella, his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahira the third, Nohoth the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. The sons of Bela were Adair, Gerer, Abihad, and Abisha, and Naaman, and Ahoa, and Gera, and Sephahian, and Huram. These are the sons of Ehu. These are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Gibeah, it's a town, and they removed them to Mahath. So, evidently it looks like the people that were in Geber when Benjamin come in, they took the people and they removed them to another place. Hey, this is ours, you're out of here, displacement. I mean, you got to be mighty if you're going to do that. If you're going to walk into a town and remove the people to another location. Verse 7, and Naaman and Ahiha and Gerer, he removed them. Name him, but they got rid of him and begat Uzzah and Ahihud. And Sheram begat children in the country of Moab. That's not where he belongs. That's on the other side of Jordan. Moab is the children of Lot. After he had sent them away, Husham and Bar Bara were his wives. So there's two females. And he begat of Hadish, his wife, Joabab, and Zibai, and Misha, and Malchayim, and Jehaz, and Sh Shehakiah, and Merma. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And of Husham he begat Abitub and Elpal. And the sons of Elpal, Eber, and Misham, and Shamed, I don't know how it's pronounced, but shamed. Who built Ono, that's a town, and Lod with their towns thereof. Now, that does not have the same name as we, uh, oh no. And Bera also and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Ijalanan, a town, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath. Now, look at what we're doing here with, with Benjamin. Look what's going on here. They are displacing people. We have not seen that. In Ohio, Shashak and Jeremiah, Zebediah and Arad and Aberg, and Michael and Ispa and Joe and the sons of Beriah, and Zebediah and Mishalom and Hel Zikai and Heber and Ishmaeli also in Jezeliah. And Jobab and the sons of Elabab, and Jakim and Jerachri and Zabdi and El and Nei and Zilthai and El, and Adiah and Barariah and Shimarath and sons of Shimhai, and Ishpam and Heber and Eli and Abandon and Zachari and Hannah, and I, and Hananiah and Elam and Ananathjah. And 
and for prior and Peniel. Peniel, I believe that's the name that where Jacob fought the angel. I believe it. And sons of Shishak, and Shemariah, and Shephariah, and Athaliah, and Jerusiah, and Eliah, and Zechariah, the sons of Jeroram. These were the heads of the fathers by their genealogy, chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem, you would think, you know, here's the capital. Here, here's where Jacob dwelt. I mean, not Jacob, David dwelt of the tribe of Judah, and actuality, Jerusalem, I mean, yeah, Jerusalem belongs to Benjamin, Jebi. And at Gibeon, that's a town, dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Micaiah. And his firstborn was Abdon, and Zer, and Kish, and Baal, ooh, ooh. you know what that is, don't you? Baal, that's a false god. And Nadab, and a Geber in Ohio and Zachar. And Makalov begat Shimei, Shimei. And these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem over against them. Next two. Bye. Verse 33. And near begat Kish. Kish begat Saul. That's King Saul. There he is. Saul is on Benjamin. Saul begat Jonathan. That's the one that David and Jonathan, they loved each other. They were battle mates. They were uh, comrades in arms. They were best friends. And Malkishua and Abinadab and Ish Baal. Saul begat Jonathan, Malkishua and Abinadab and Ish Baal. Saul had a son named after Baal. 2 Samuel 2.8. 2 Samuel 2.8. Not what I want. Why did I write that one down? Uh... His sons die in battle. Gives the names. That's not the names. Read that again. Oh, okay, yeah, 2 a. That's the one I want. It's a different spelling. That's why I didn't recognize it. Second Samuel 2 a. But Abner, the son of Ner, captain of Saul's host, took Ishbunish, the son of Saul, and brought him over to Menahiah. Ishbunish. That's Ishbael. Notice how when he becomes king, it took the Baal off. Kept the Ish. Ishbanish. Ishbanish means a man of shame. Well, look at that. The man of shame, and you got his name, according to Chronicles, had Baal. Baal is the god of the harvest. Kind of interesting for King Saul. I wonder if that name came after when God gave him that unclean spirit. And then King Saul, 1 Samuel 31 2. 1 Samuel 31 2. And this is the, this is, this is the other one I, I thought. 1 Samuel 31 2. And the Philistines followed hard upon Saul and upon his son. And the Philistines slew Jonathan, Abinadab, and Melchushia, Saul's son. And then you come back over at Chronicles, there they are, Eshbel, that's the one that was made king while David was king. In verse 34 in Chronicles, the sons of Jonathan was Merabel, and Merabel begat Micah. Well, let's go see who Maribel is. 2 Samuel 4 4. 2 Samuel 4 4. And Jonathan, Saul's son, had a son that was lame in his feet. When he was five years old, when Titus came, that Saul and Jonathan out of Jersey. 
and his nurse took him up and fled. And it came to pass, as she made haste to flee, that he fell and became lame, and his name was Mephibosheth. That's him right there. Maribel. For when he comes before David and the story is told to David, that veil is dropped off. And then he has a son, Micah. And we go from there, the sons of Micah. This is the line of Jonathan, of Saul. Where Python, Melek, Terah, Ahaz. And Ahaz beget Jeradiah, and that's not the king Ahaz. And Jeradiah beget Elmeth, and Azimuthus, Zimri. Zimri beget Moza. Moza beget Bina, Rapha his son, Elshema his son, Azel his son. Elzo had six sons, whose names are these Azarkim, Barkaru, and Ishmael. Well, that's a bad name. Sherai and Obadiah, that's not the prophet, and Hannah. And these were the sons of Azel. And the sons of Eshek. His brother were Elam, the firstborn, Jehush, the second, Eliphadet, the third. And the sons of Elam were mighty men of valor, archers. That's an interesting case in the Bible because Esau was mentioned to be a hunter. And then when we come over to Genesis chapter 10, Genesis chapter 10, we run into a character. Genesis chapter 10, about this archery, verse 8. Genesis 10, 8. And Cush beget Nimrod. Nimrod is your realm of a man of Tammuz and your Babylonian religion. Babylon, mystery Babylon. There is the, the source and the foundation. Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. Somebody part. You know, the thing is, in the early year, uh, Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd was called Nimrod. The hunter. Going after a rabbit. Quite interesting. He was a mighty hunter, and that's the first hunter that shows up in the Bible, right there, before the Lord. Wherefore it said, even Nimrod, the mighty hunter, <laughs> that'd be the second place to show up, before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. That's where God came down and scattered language. And Eric, 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 Akkad, and Kana in the land of Sinar. That's where Babylon is. And you see that kingdom in verse 10? And ba Babel? That's the first time those two words show up. The first hunter, the first kingdom, and the first Babel all are referenced to Nimrod. Yeah, that's where they set up the image. Uh, I haven't got the S's. Let me check right now. Let me do a quick check. S H I N A R. And 1010 is the first time that shows up. And it's not to chapter 11 that you get the story of Babel and Sinar. Chapter 11, verse 1. The whole earth was of one language. That's the first time language shows up. This is the realm of Nimrod. And one speech. Let's see, let's run up speech real quick. 11 1. Genesis 11 1. No, speech is verse 4. All right, so one speech, and it came to pass as they journeyed. Verse 2, 11 2. That's the first time journey shows up. From the east they came to a plain in the land of Shinar and dwelt there. And then they built Babel and God, the Trinity, comes down and says, Hey, we got to make them press one for English. Was it language or speech? Right? Language. Speech of somewhere else in Genesis. 
Archer, our hunter, doesn't really have a good co good conduct in the Bible. I know we need hunters. I'm not going to say get rid of hunters totally, but uh, Benjaminites were fierce fighters. First Chronicles 8.40. And had many sons and sons' sons. He had a lot. 150. That wouldn't be how many sons that he had. I mean, that would be his grandsons and his great-grandsons. You see where you can get in difficulty here? I hope that guy didn't have 150 natural sons. And all these are the sons of Benjamin. So, now we're going to get into the nation of Israel, Lord willing. And then we're going to get back to the priest again. And the office of the priest. So, there's that. <laughs>